There are more questions than answers as Fox 11 continues to cover the search for three-year-old Elijah Vu. Officially, this is 10 days after the boy was reported last seen in Two Rivers, but with the last person to say they saw Vu sitting behind bars and facing child neglect charges, Fox 11 Today lays out the timeline and raises questions into what led up to the boy's disappearance. Balance News and severe weather coverage. This is Fox 11 News at 5. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight here at 5. Today marks 10 days since three-year-old Elijah Vu was reported missing in Two Rivers. Now, local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies continue to investigate the boy's disappearance while his extended family organizes volunteers to search for the toddler. And Fox 11 has learned that his mother, Katrina Bauer, who is charged with child neglect and obstruction, has requested that her $15,000 cash bond cash bail rather be modified. A hearing on this issue has not yet been scheduled. Fox 11's Emily Matesk is back in Manitowoc County where she is connecting with searchers there in the search for Elijah. She joins us now live with an update. Emily? Yeah, Michelle and Mark, we know that law enforcement expanded their search in rural and urban areas and neighborhoods yesterday, continuing or rechecking shorelines and waterways. All this while those volunteer searchers organized by Vu's family continue to search, hopeful that they'll find that little boy. From downtowns to country roads, waterways and woods, law enforcement, volunteers and private agencies are still scouring the region looking for Elijah Vu volunteers remaining hopeful in their search while still understanding the gravity of the situation. Anything is, I shouldn't say better than nothing, but I, I want to see him alive somewhere, but you got to be realistic about it too. It's been more than a week since three-year-old Elijah Vu was last reportedly seen in Two Rivers by Jesse Vang, a man now in jail charged with child neglect connected to this case. Vang reported the boy who was in his care missing on February 20th. Two Rivers Police saying on Tuesday night during a news conference, a week after Vu disappeared, they are still trying to put together a timeline of where Vu was before he went missing. Fox 11 spoke with the owner of Ross Auto Service in Two Rivers, the owner sharing pictures of Vu in his shop with Jesse Vang on Friday, February 16th, four days before Vang reported him missing. He tells us there was nothing unusual about the visit, and when he learned about the missing boy, he immediately shared everything he had with authorities. While it's unclear if these images of Vu are some of the last before he went missing, searchers who are prepared to help look for the boy for as long as they need to wish they had more information to go on when they're out and about. If you knew a certain time frame, where and when, I think you could narrow a search down, but... Uh, Law enforcement has their own ways, I guess, and we just got to go with what we have. And while that volunteer search for Elijah Vu has been concentrated or focused here in Manitowoc County, the family has put out a call for volunteers for Saturday. They want to search the areas of Cleveland and Sheboygan. In Sheboygan County, they're asking for people who are familiar with the woods there, the creeks, marsh areas to come out on Saturday. We don't have an exact time or location where those volunteers are to meet, but as soon as we find that out, we'll pass that along. For now, we're live in Two Rivers. Emily Matesic, Fox 11 News. All right, Emily, thank Thanks so much. Elijah was reported last seen by his adult caregiver, Vang, at 8 o'clock on the morning of February 20th. That was last Tuesday. He was in the 3900 block of Michicot Road. Elijah has dark blonde hair, brown eyes, weighs about 45 pounds, and is three feet tall. He also has a birthmark on his left knee. Police continue to remind the public that no tip or bit of information is too small. Anyone who may have seen this little boy or knows where he is is urged to call the number on your screen, 844-267-6648. Talk about what brought you out. I mean, we're, what, we say day 10 out here. For... Well, we're, we're talking with some of the searchers here. I've got a one, just a one-year-old grandson, and I can't imagine the feeling I would have if this would happen to us. So another set of eyes in that out here is, you know, I think it's good. Did you start at the theater and the, came out here? Yeah. Or did, okay. Started at the theater, registered there, and uh, I know this area a little bit more, so it was a good spot for me to come. 
Um, and you, did you know the family, parts of the family were going to be out here? I I did not know they were going to be out here, but I talked to them and met them and it's just, it's just not good. I mean, what, what is it like out here searching? I mean, law enforcement isn't giving you guys much direction. They're not, but there's always that sense of hope you could find something in that. But this area is really swampy and thick and it's getting wet back there. So I, I, it'd be a hard spot, you know. And the gate is locked, but you don't know. You find something, anything can help. Yeah, I mean, do you think this kid walked off? I don't think he walked off because where he's located on that street, there's so much traffic there. It's impossible for a little boy to, somebody would say something. Hmm. So it, it doesn't sound very good, but you always got to have hope. Yeah, I mean, you, you mentioned that hope. I actually talked to, on the phone today with the sheriff out in um, Barron County, the Jamie Clock mm-hmm. yes. case, and he said that's his one message. It's like you got to keep, you, you have to have hope and you got to keep trying. Yeah, that's all we can do. So I'll keep help searching and we'll go from there. Uh, do you feel, I, I talked with the woman the other day, she's like, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. You don't even know what haystack. Do you wish there was more direction from law enforcement on where to search and maybe how you can help? I guess that's that's it right there if you knew a certain time frame where and when i think you could narrow a search down but uh, law enforcement has their own ways i guess and just got to go what we have how's the community handling this i mean if you're from michigan i mean it's yeah manitowoc county i mean why well, everybody i mean we're sad it could be one of our own and that too and this is one of our own it's the community so we do what we can do just a little more direction would be nice. Yeah. How? I mean, how long will you search? Will you come out regularly? What's? I'll help regularly in that. I, I think that's all I can do. What else can we do but help the search? Are you prepared to find something that you might not want to find? Yes, I am. But anything is, I should say, better than nothing. But I, I want to see him alive somewhere. But you got to be realistic about it, too. A lot of days for a little boy to be. It is to be missing in this weather. Some days were nice, some days are not. A three-year-old, it, it, it doesn't look good. But gotta have hope. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.